my background. Uh, what I know is that ever since I left college a few years ago now, um, my intelligence level has gone rapidly downwards. <laughs> and this was a wake-up call for me. When I was asked to host Spellby 2013, I didn't think that the level would be so high. The students are from class 9, class 8. Some of them are as young as 12 or 13. A lot of them are 14. And the words that we asked them to spell, I had the accurate spelling in front of me. I had to work on my pronunciation because that's so important. I had to enunciate the words, the letters correctly so that that would help them to spell. Um, I was very impressed with all of them. I was really, really excited actually. I think it's a wonderful initiative by the Times of India, by Radio Mirchi. I'm so happy that HDFC Life is backing this. Um, I, as I've said many times before, I'm a huge fan of the English language. I was so impressed. I spent the past two days, two very long, very intense days with the 16 uh, qualifiers and all of them, really the levels of intelligence are so high. Uh, I never took part in a spell myself, but I've watched many of them and I've always been fascinated. I think that it makes for great watching on TV as well because it's, there's so much pressure, it's a competition and these kids did really, really well. Of course, there was only one winner, um, as there always has to be, but I really think all 16 of them are champions in their own right. Yes, there's nothing like that, as I was saying, I didn't get the chance to become a part of the XPLB. But I'm very shocked to see these types of competitions. And even today, I've got a lot of time to go to college. I'll tell you how much time it is. But when our friends come to our house, we like to play word games. If it's Scrabble, if it's Taboo, or whatever. And every day, I feel good if I do a crossword. When I get a chance, when you're shooting, if you're on a break, I like to do crosswords. So I like the English language. I actually genuinely get excited uh, when it comes to spelling words or when I send SMS or on Twitter, I don't write an abbreviate, I write a full form. I never write you with a U, it's always Y-O-U. Um, so I think that I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to the English language.